Welcome back to SCCU Local. Now we have covered all sorts of sports here on our show, but our next sport is another winter sport that is very popular here in Minnesota. Skijoring, as it is called, involves cross-country skiers who race with their dogs in Ham Lake. They had their annual Skijor and dog sled race on the February 18th. I'm Joe Fessler. I'm a ski drawer and dog sledder. I'm here today to partake in the fun and festivities of the Ham Lake Snow Bowl and the Puppy Love uh, Sled Dog Race. You see all types of dogs. Today we'll see everything from your house lab to uh, the traditional northern breeds that you see in dog sledding races. And that's, that's what's great about ski drawing. It's really an urban sport in that retrospect. Uh, there's a lot of uh, great uh, community events and races in, in the Twin Cities area. Like any other activity, whether it's cross-country skiing or ballet dancing, you know, or yoga, you know, it's nice to train with somebody who knows what they're doing instead of inventing a sport all by yourself. So anyone getting involved with the sport really needs to get it involved with other mushers who have been doing it a long time and um, not make the mistakes that they otherwise would make with regard to feeding the dogs a proper diet, training them correctly so they don't get injured, keeping the dogs happy because they love doing this. Um, so, you know, why, why make them unhappy? Um, you know, we're having a great time. It's a little warm for my dogs. I have Siberian Huskies here behind me, and uh, they like the cold weather, so they prefer to be negative 10. But it's nice for spectators and, and mushers alike, the human counterparts here, to have some warm weather and nice skies. So we're, we're looking forward to a good race and fun trails. My name is Diane Johnson. I am the Education Director for the Iditarod Trail Sled Dog Race. It's a privilege to work with children around the world who every year follow mushing and we incorporate it into their classroom structure. Hi, I'm Cheryl Cater. I'm one of the teachers and educators that has been following the Iditarod Dog Sled Race as well as some other dog sled programs using it in my classroom to get kids motivated about learning. We have our students uh, choose a musher. Um, it could be a musher from any type of race and then they, the students then track that musher and figure out how much time it will take the musher to get from one checkpoint to the other and so we use our math skills for the students then to be able to average how long the it takes for the musher to get there how fast the dogs are traveling and estimate as to the time of arrival of the teams as well and we hope that other people will hop on board the sled and enjoy getting to know um, our love of dog sledding You know, it's uh, one of those things that can be very, you know, addicting very quickly. I went from one dog to three dogs in a dog truck in a, a matter of a couple of years and uh, just really enjoy getting out during the winter and being active with my dogs. Skijoring and dog sling are very popular events around Minnesota. If you are interested in any of these events, you can visit skijor.org for more information. You know, that kind of looks like hard work. But I don't know if it's as hard as what this next group of people do. While many of us are asleep in our beds, twice a week there is a group of students who are already up and about getting quite a workout. These students are part of the ROTC program offered right here at St. Cloud State University. Our next story takes a look into this program and maybe explains these initials mean. Let's dive into how this university is working with the Army to make students into strong leaders and officers. ROTC is the Reserve Officer Training Corps. I'm Major Joey Arrington, the Enrollment and Scholarship Officer for the Army ROTC program at St. Cloud State. Army ROTC is a college uh, program where anybody can take the course. It's a leadership course. Uh, at St. Cloud State we have upper division and we have the basic course. And the basic course it has, it's for anybody. It's a, one of the hidden secrets here on campus where you can get leadership classes that do an overview of the military. What it stresses is the 17 leadership dimensions and some seven army values that will make you a successful leader once you graduate from college. Uh, it's a fun, interesting class and what you can take out of that class is you can also move into the upper level and you can also be commissioned as an officer in the United States Army the Minnesota National Guard, or the Army Reserves. 
Uh, now, some of the things that are part of the program is some of the intense leadership labs, the physical fitness that we do, and then the classroom portion. Cadets are regular students. Uh, they're taking their regular criminal justice mass comm, their bio, their nursing major, and they're getting a minor in military science or taking the military science classes as an elective. And the classroom portion uh, meets once or twice a week, depending on which level, which level you're in. The leadership lab portion uh, consists of the physical fitness that you saw earlier today. It also consists of going out into the woods and doing the fun stuff, doing the land navigation, doing the patrolling, learning the tactics of, mili of the military. For the physical fitness, we meet twice a week at 5.45 in the morning down in Hellenbeck. It's the most challenging portion of ROTC is actually getting up and going to physical fitness. And we push ourselves. It's, it's hard physical fitness that we do. Uh, but the hardest part is actually just getting up, balancing your study, your classes, work, and ROTC. My name is Coleman Silbernagel. I'm the Cadet Battalion Commander of the Fighting Saints Battalion, which comprises St. Cloud State, St. John's University, and the College of St. Benedict. I joined in January of 2009. Um, I took the MS1 class that fall semester and absolutely fell in love with the program. I, I enjoyed the, the leadership development that took place, the camaraderie, the encouragement to, to excellence, and decided that that was something that I, I really wanted to be a part of. So I signed up and I've been been with them ever since. The MS4s are in charge of planning most of the activities that the ROTC battalion does. So that means the PT that, that the d different companies do on Tuesday and Thursday here at St. Cloud State. We're also in charge of planning the labs that happen once a month. Um, we're planning an FTX, a field training exercise, which will be taking place at Camp Ripley with the University of North Dakota, North Dakota State, uh, Mankato State, and the U of M. Well, some of the goals that I have accomplished was, is just staying in physical shape. Um, working out every single morning and I'm in the National Guard right now and so I'm in a platoon leader position and ROTC has definitely give me, given me a lot of um, the tools to perform my position a lot better. At the beginning I was kind of unsure what I was supposed to do and now um, being in leadership in ROTC and I have definitely learned how to be a platoon leader. It helped you work on your abilities you know when I say abilities I mean like you probably have something in you that you haven't recognized but the military especially with the ROTC to pull that out of you so that you can see how far you can go with the abilities you have in you. Some of the main goals is for all the students whether they're going into the army or whether they're graduating from St. Cloud State and going into the workforce is building leadership skills because once you gradu graduate from St. Cloud State you're going to be put in a manager position or a leadership position and it's going to be beneficial for you and it's going to be beneficial for central Minnesota or the upper Midwest. For the students that actually commission into the United States Army, the goal is to become a second lieutenant as an officer in the United States Army, the National Guard or the Reserves, and to be able to lead 40 Americans as soon as you graduate from St. Cloud State. Those sure are some dedicated students. I'm not sure I could be there at 5.30 in the morning. I'm you know just not what? a morning person. I don't think I could either, but if you would like to learn more about the ROTC program here at St. Cloud State, feel free to stop by their office in the basement of Stewart Hall. Coming up next, we get to go behind the scenes of another UTVS show. This one is a little bit more high scale. Hope you stay with us at CC Local. We'll be right back.